Okay, so uh, now I'm doing the, uh, the mid-season finale of Season 5 of The Walking Dead. Uh, this episode is called Coda, which is, I think, again, fitting just because uh, Coda is usually is used for the end of a, like a music piece, and it basically just means the end. So, um, the beginning of this episode follows Rick chasing after uh, Officer, well, I don't know what his last name is, but Bob from the end of the last episode, chasing after him, and he gets in a cop car, and, he's, and he tells him, Bob, you know, stop running, you know, we, you, we can fix it, stop running, and he keeps running, and so Rick hits him with the car, and it basically gravely injures him, and then, um, the officer then comes out and says, it's not gonna work, your, your, your plan isn't gonna work, you know, you don't know Don like I do, and Rick kind of tells him to shut up and, and shoots him, so, uh, they manage, so they, Rick gets back with the group, and he says, the plan should still work, hopefully, so they go, and then they start to set up the whole, uh, prisoner exchange. Um, for the other part of the episode, uh, we, we follow more of the actions of, uh, Father Gabriel, who, um, goes to the school, where I guess all, after he shut all the people out from his church, that's where they went, and where they all subsequently died. And so he sees the aftermath of what he's done. So, and, and he also, that's where the term, termites, the term, the termites, or whatever you want to call them, where, that's where they were hold, held up at, so he sees Bob's leg there, which is still there. So the, the, the walkers break out, and he, he starts to run back to the church. And so, uh, Michonne and Carl and, uh, break open the door, which was, you know, bolted shut to get him in, and then, basically, they do like a, almost like a bait and cash where they lure all the walkers inside, they sneak out the way Father Gabriel did, and they shut all the walkers uh, inside the uh, the church. And so, for their story, I'll finish theirs up really quick, because that's the main bulk. Uh, they're hanging out outside, and then the walkers are about to break out when Abraham and, or, uh, oh, what was the, Gratum, Team Gratum, was I, I, I just thought that was clever. They, uh, they pull up and they block the door with the, the, the fire truck and then all, off camera they blow everything up. <laughs> or they shoot everything. And so then after that they tell Maggie, hey, you know, we found uh, Beth and they're, they're in Atlanta, they're in a hospital. And so they all go off and they're going to go uh, join that situation. Um, and then the other major thing is, you know, inside the hospital, Beth is kind of getting closer to dawn. She, she finds out about life before Dawn was in charge and all kinds of other things. And um, it's basically hinted that Dawn killed her successor because he was just saving people. And he didn't care that you have to, you know, that, that in their view, you have to pick who you save. So he just went out and was saving people and, and he had to be killed because of that. And uh, another officer thinks that uh, Dawn is in the same position, so he's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you, and so I, I can take over, and so uh, w with the help of Beth, they manage to kill him, and so then Dawn and Beth kind of get closer, a little bit, and then um, in uh, Carol's room, Dawn and Beth are talking over, and it's like, no, you weren't protecting me, Beth accuses Dawn, she says, you weren't protecting me, you were protecting you, because you know, those were problems, the, the, all the officers that have been killed were problems, and you don't have to deal with that now, because, and so you would, you're, you're protecting me to protect you, and she goes, yeah, because, you know, and she says, no, and she says that, you know, the, this isn't how the world has to be, we're surviving, that's what we do, it's what we have to do to survive, um, so, uh, Rick gets, they, they lure two other officers in a car, to come up to the top of a parking structure, and Rick throws his gun down, and he says, you know, we have two of your people, you have two of ours, we would like to make an exchange. And so they say, oh, where's the rest of your group? And as they're asking this question, a walker is walking up to the top of the thing, and then, um, Sasha shoots the walker with a silent sniper rifle, and so then they notice this. And so it's really funny just because, um, Rick's just, uh, because now they know that, that oh, they're not so alone, so, uh, Rick just kind of steps back, and it's one of the funniest moments, or I thought it was funny slash cool, he's like, uh, 
you know, call it in, you know, I, I, I can wait and just kind of takes a couple steps back and it's like, yeah, he doesn't, you know, Rick don't care. <laughs> Rick's a badass. But, um, we see a little bit of a development of Sasha and, uh, and Tyrese because, you know, they're, they're in a similar situation. Sasha's, he was angry about Bob dying and Tyrese was the same way about Karen and so Tyrese is like, ah, oh, you know, we can, you know, we're the same and we, we can be the same as we were before and and Sasha thinks that, yeah, Tyrese can, but I don't think, uh, uh, I don't think I can. So they get everybody together for the exchange. Carol's awoke. She awoke during that conversation with, uh, Dawn and Beth. And so, um, so they go in and, uh, they make the exchange. They exchange first Carol and they exchange Beth and then as Rick's walking away with, with Beth, um, Dawn asks for Noah back, saying that she needs a ward, and, you know, you, you took that away from me with Noah. You said you're taking Beth, I need Noah. And, uh, Rick says no, but Noah initially agrees to it because he knows how, you know, important she is to, to their thing. But, um, Beth walks up and she goes, I understand, and then stabs, uh, Dawn with a pair of scissors, which causes Dawn to discharge her gun, which shoots Beth in the head, killing her, and so then, um, Daryl immediately blows her brains out, and, um, eventually there's a truce and everybody's shaking, and in a surprising factor, Rick didn't order everybody dead, like all the cops dead, he just, you know, he offered the same thing that he did with, uh, the people left over from, uh, Woodbury, which he's like, if anybody wants to leave, you can, you know, come with us, and I, uh, the way that it makes it look at the end of the episode, nobody does, and so then the, the final shots are, uh, you know, again, Maggie and Glenn and their group walking up, and then they see Rick coming out, and they see Daryl holding Beth, and Maggie breaks down. Um, so yeah, let's talk about everything with this episode, because I feel like just because this is the mid-season finale, there's a, a big beefy thing, to, there's enough beef to talk about with this. Um... <sighs> It, it, they've really gotten rid of every moral center, I think. Like, let me talk about Beth, because Beth's the big one. Um, apparently, I'm one of very few people who actually liked Beth. I thought Beth was a really... It was just a cool character. Her, her innocence was, I thought, a great asset to the show, just because, you know, not everybody can be cold, bloodthirsty killers and be able to kill walkers left and right. You know, there was somebody, like... She was the spark that was like, oh, if she makes me believe that there is hope for humanity. And I feel like with her gone, it's it sucks. I mean, like I said, I liked her character. I mean, um, it almost seemed obvious in a way that she was going to die. Looking back with hindsight, just because, I mean, of how, especially for the first bit of the season, how unused she was for a while. But, I mean... Yeah, uh, I mean, it sucks, and in true, uh, Walking Dead fashion, for the most part, it was quick. <laughs> I mean, Andrea's was a big thing, I think the only death that I've seen so far that was, like, a big thing was, like, Lori and Andrea, and then other than that, like, Herschel, uh, yeah, Herschel and Beth have both been really big, which, which is another thing, poor Maggie, Maggie's lost everything, I mean, if, if Glenn dies, then she's gonna be a nervous wreck. Um, but the other thing is, like, Father Gabriel kind of accepting that, he, I guess he's kind of accepted that he can't just not do anything anymore, which is another thing, it's like, that's another person who's like, if there's hope for humanity, it's this guy, this guy who holds his religion even above surviving, in a way, and now he's foregone that to survive, I think, that, that almost kind of sucks. Um... But yeah, alright, so this was a good episode. I thought, like, everything, the tension was well built up, and I mean, for to the exchange, which was the big part, and then once Beth kind of stepped forward, I was like, she's gonna die, and then I just didn't think it would happen so quickly, in a way. Like, it was literally stab, shot, dead. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, 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 I'm still t also trying to grasp what she meant by now I understand. I think it was that... 
uh, after losing Noah, which was somebody I don't think Dawn thought she was going to lose, she wanted to make sure that Beth stuck around. And she's now that Noah's back, and she kind of leveraged to get Noah, and, or that she has to get rid of Beth, you know, she sees Beth as expendable, and so it's like, you never cared, you're just, again, you're protecting yourself, everything you've said to me is BS, which I think is, is a, is a great interesting thing. Um, but this whole, this whole half season in general is, is, has been, I think it's good, but it's interesting, in the sense that, um, there's a lot of different things happening all at the same time. It's not as bad as the second half of season four, but, like, there's, like, 15 things happening all at the same time, and it's, it's kind of bad. Well, not bad, but it's, like, the first thing, there's the saga with the, with the Terminites, and then there's, uh... Beth's story, and then also the, a little bit, the Abraham's group, and then there's Rick's group, and so there's like, there's a bunch of different stories being told, and, but they all kind of came together in a way. I, I like how there's the two parallels of uh, the hospital and Terminus, where Terminus is the institutional evil where things are, are bad, it, where it's like things are really, really bad, but they look good. And the same thing with the hospital. Like, bad things are happening, but they're doing it so they can survive. And so, I think the th uh, theme of this season is, you know, what are you willing to do to survive? And that's that's a deep question, you know. Are you willing to let certain liberties go? Are you going to eat people? It's, you know, it's what, uh, what do you hold most dear? What do you hold to the highest standards? So, um. Yeah, this has been a great season of Walking Dead. I can't wait for February now for when uh, the next half of the season comes out. So, um, so that's what, two months? Three months? A little over two months now. So, uh, until then, so I won't be doing one of these until then. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.